Well, back in May this year, DJI released this little guy, the Osmo Action, to capture a slice of the action camera market. But how does it fare against its nearest rival, the GoPro, and just what are those all-important action shots like? Well, in this vlog, let's find out. Now, first things first, I think it's important to say this is my own opinion and review on the DJI Osmo Action. They haven't paid me to post this video and this isn't a free camera. I wish it was. Now, the device itself is pretty easy to use. It can record 60 frames per second in full 4K. Or, if you drop down to 1080p, it shoots up to 240 frames per second in slow motion. And I'll show you how that looks at the end of the video. In terms of storage, well, everything's kept on a micro SD card with a max capacity of 256 gigabytes, and the battery will run for a good 60 minutes on full 4K with the rock steady feature enabled. Sound wise, the Osmo has two built in microphones, one at the side and one at the very top, and overall, the sound is pretty good. For me, the advantage for us vloggers is this front screen, which is why I think the GoPro Hero 8 has been quick to follow suit, adding a flip-up screen that doesn't quite come as standard like the Osmo. Now, I should add, you can only have one screen active at a time, but it's easy to change. You simply press the button on the side or tap twice with two fingers. You can even control it with an app on your phone or by using several different voice commands. So I figured if you're trying out an action camera, then you want to test all the individual features. And how does the front screen compare to just a rear screen on the GoPro models? What's the battery life like? How well does the time lapse and the slow-mo features work? How well does it work in hot conditions, in sand, in water? Well, I'm off to Gran Canaria and over the next week, we're going to put this device through its paces. Now the good news, if like me, you build up a collection of GoPro accessories, well the connection system is exactly the same on the Osmo Action, meaning the head strap, the chest strap, the wrist strap, if you want to attach a camera to a surfboard or the side of a car, all the accessories pretty much work in exactly the same way on the Osmo Action. So I've come along to uh, Aguines to test the Rocksteady feature on the Osmo Action, which is basically like a gimbal. It's meant to take out all the shaking as you're walking along. So uh, this is some test footage of the Osmo Action Rocksteady feature, which um, so far, so good, pretty impressive. Now, if you're finding the video useful so far, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help. Just uh, testing out the microphone on the Osmo Action. So the third stop, checking out the Osmo Action, is a place called Tejida on the island to Rock Nublo, which is about 1,813 meters above sea level. It dates back to the Aborigines. It's uh, one of the oldest and largest crags in the world, but it's quite a trek. So where you park, it's about a two mile trek into the mountains, 
and it looks like the Rockies in, uh, in Canada. So it's so impressive and a great place to test out the Osmo Action rock steady feature for that stabilization. It's also fully waterproof without the need of an external case and you can dive to depths of around 36 feet.